and then to combine the bass and distorted synth components into one sound, shift select the two tracks and choose the create track stack option from the track menu. When asked, select the summing stack option as this routes the audio output of both tracks in the stack to a single channel for mixing and processing purposes. Once stacked, you can see that the Trance 5th ES2 track and the Bass EXS24 track have both become entrenched in the stack named SUM1. Double click this name to rename the stack to something more suitable like Distorted Lead. Then set the respective levels of the tracks contained within it. We'll set the Trance 5th track to minus 3 dB, the bass track to minus 1, and the overall stack volume to minus 4. Finally, to bring it all together, we engage the compressor plugin that's pre-installed on the track stacks channel. Here we've imported an audio file of a suitable drum track that we made earlier, and now we can play an approximation of the original Invaders Must Die lead and bass part using our newly created sound. 